Perfect. Yeah. So, Trying to stay close to this microphone yeah. so that it doesn't work. So, First. my name, you want to stop me? Okay. <laughs> my name is Vichy Hanjin, and uh, I'm a student here at North Park doing my business major. Uh, this is uh, you one, my name is Johan, and I'm a junior here now as well. Uh, I just come back, I was here two years ago, and then I went back to Sweden, traveled for a bit, and then Sweden I worked, and, and I founded a company, Swedish, Swedish Co. It's really but now I'm back here, and I'm finishing my um, degree in business. So today we are going to cover e-commerce, kind of, and the way we do it, and give you some good ideas, hopefully we'll provide some good value for you, so you you can learn something from, from this today. And um, the first question we have for you, uh, just to think about like the way we buy and consume products today, what are some things that you have bought online the last month? Hands up if you have a good... Supplements. Supplements, yep. Yeah. It's a very good market. Yeah, very popular. What else do we have? Groceries. Yes. Groceries. Saturday night, I actually like order food online. You guys order food? Yeah, online. all the time. <laughs> Everything is online. Everything is online today. And as you see here, look at the charge, it's been growing a lot and it's predicted to continue to grow a lot as well. And, um, and it's there, especially with uh, COVID, like it just was a blast for uh, the e commerce uh, platform to like, yeah, yeah. escalate. So we're standing against the future. We're, we're going to have a future with a lot of e-commerce and therefore we want to give you value of how we have kind of seized this opportunity a little bit and maybe give you guys some ideas on how to do it as well. Because you have specific knowledge in, in your life and in your passions about something. Where we only have like a little fraction of it. Um, all right. Wait, wait, just one tap. It's so slow. <clears throat> Nope. <coughs> okay. Should I go to the uh, story or? No, just go there. You need to change. Oh, nice. <laughs> Oops. Technical errors. This happens sometimes. Let's see. Where's my. Are anyone here familiar with like e-commerce business? Have you tried anything in yourself? Yeah, you tried it. What did you do? Here you go. Yeah. I sold supplements. Oh, nice. Thanks. You sold supplements. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. Anyone yeah. else? Anyone else? But you're kind of all a little bit, you have a little knowledge of it. Yeah, nice, interesting. So yes, as I said, our goal today is to create value for you and um, help you kind of think and if you want to start your business and your side hustle. And also what it is not, it's not a presentation to brag about our businesses or um, our success we have had. Uh, we're mostly going to talk about online business in general. And um, it's also not saying that it's going to work for everyone without any work because you have to put in work if you want to do this. And we're going to talk about uh, consumer behavior. Yes, like we, we buy a lot online and uh, cover some small companies and also how you can do this location free kind of i met a lot of people traveling the world that are just living off their computers selling businesses having things online and then richie is going to give you some examples of how he's doing it yeah. traveling not be having to be like physically present just or having everything on the computer and uh, how we can market it private label and influencer marketing and uh, go over a bit of marketing successfully today yeah and you have a little bit of a story as well. Yeah, I'll tell you a story. So he, he went home to Sweden to start his business and I was obviously here. I've been here two years now. Um, so my entrepreneur story started, like journey started last this January, uh, so one year now. Um, and I, I was fed up. I was always thinking of money, like, can I do that? Why can I not do that? Can I buy this? Why can I not buy this? Like I was fed up of thinking of money. Uh, so I, 
I wanted to do something. I wanted to earn money. <laughs> That's my, you know, desire. And I want to uh, saw so many ads as may you have seen on social media, like work from home, uh, Shopify there, Shopify there, you know. Uh, so I wanted, I tried different stuff. Uh, this was the time ChatGPT came out. It was fresh. Um, so I tried to do some uh, uh, freelancing. So I, I advertised me as a freelancer. I could like write others uh, ad copies and I just took everything from ChatGPT and took and like took money for it <laughs> because no one nobody know like knew what it was that was like yeah so I found this other thing called um, drop shipping are you familiar with that yeah so drop shipping is uh, uh, you sell products online um, like but you don't like you don't touch see the products. You say like I don't like I'm the seller. I don't see the products. So it's the products direct from the um, supplier. The product goes direct from the supplier direct to the customer. And that is basically drop shipping. And I'll break I'll break it down in four four stages. Like you find a product, build a store, you um, advertise it on social media. Instagram, TikTok, and for the customer satisfaction. Uh, that is very, very important. So I started my uh, dropshipping in January, 16th of January, and it took me one month. I found my winning product uh, where I, my revenue was like $10,000 one month. Let me show you here. It will. <laughs> um, and that was like eye opening for me. Like, how could I earn so much money online for just like doing that? I did not doing nothing, but it's quite easy if you just understand the. Well, it, will, it will come. Mm -hmm. If you understand the components. Um, so. I'm going to show you my website and the product I sold. Um, the funny. Yeah, mm -hmm. And with this concept, like it's it's a low. It's a low risk concept. So you don't have to like uh, pay like buy products up front uh, inventory up front you it's and uh, what more and uh, this model is lo a low risk overhead cost i don't have like uh, inventory to to pay for inventory and stuff because everything comes direct from the supplier why does it not come? Something wrong with the computer? Or? Yeah, I don't know. Just press. Feel the camera. Feel the camera. Oh my. Yeah. No. Okay, yeah, so this was. January, like this is a kroner, it's a 108,000 kroner, that's like $10,000 in one month. Isn't it crazy? Uh, huh? The product? Yeah. I'll show you now. So, the winning product was this. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually not. Uh, how do I? Uh, so this is my website I built, and like dropshipping, it it's like it's so many stuff you've learned from school, like marketing, leadership, you manage thing with the supplier. I have an agent in China right now who supplies stuff, and 
the way to find a product like you can like if I want to sell this, I just go to AliExpress, search like a bag, I don't know, thingy, mm. and I copy, copy the link and just send it to my agent. He'll, he'll give me the price. It's easy. And this product, my, um, I found it to my girlfriend because I wasn't on a call with her and she was stressed uh, and she was like, oh, don't call me now. I'm, fi I'm searching after a product at a store in Sweden and I can't find it. I was like, what product is it? It's like a mascara thingy. I was like, what? Like, what is it? Mm. And then she said, it's a, it's called the last sh last shield something. She was like, told me something. So I just searched it on uh, AliExpress, AliExpress, and just tried to sell it, and it went. Yeah, I made ten thousand dollars from it. So this is the product. Uh, this is in Swedish now. Have you seen this before? No. So this is the product. Uh, uh, page. This is my girlfriend. I used her to market, like market the uh, this product. Uh, oh, I get it now. Yeah, and I uh, made a, a ad with this product. Uh, you can see I can show you the ads here. Yeah. So. Uh, like how people yeah, it, like, it. yeah, so I have an app be inbuilt to my website who records every, you know, every touch every person. the person does on the screen. So I can see where, where they go and everything. So I can like adjust my question. Yeah, you, so you use uh, Shopify? Yeah, Shopify, I use Shopify. And then I had another question. So I mean, this might be jumping ahead, but um, so were you just like kind of shooting in the dark for products or did you like do some research on what was trending or what? Yeah, so you can you do some research or you can just try, you can try a product if you think it will yeah. like mm. uh, do good. Uh, so I did a little bit uh, re research on it. So there's some programs you can like search on stuff uh, like, yeah, so a system there you can search the product and they will show you how many ads there are on that. Uh, Particular, specific. yeah, specific. Yeah, even you can use like Google searches. To see yeah, trend, Google trends. You Google can just, yeah, see, see there what trend, what is trending. Yeah. yeah. So here's the my um, ad I did, and then I used TikTok ads to put like I up, uploaded it on TikTok and Facebook and Instagram. So I just made this. A simple video, you just like upload it. So that's my brand. <laughs> that's you, Gothenburg. <laughs> This is this is so fun. Like you make your own brand, you yeah. you do your own marketing, you make your video. You can pay people to do that, but I, I love to do this stuff yeah. my own. It's all through Alibaba. AliExpress. <coughs> Which is part of Alibaba. Yeah, 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 exactly. exactly so yeah. you have your agent that buys the stuff or sends you ideas. Yeah. And you create the website on their website? No. I have my own websites. websites. I do everything on my own. I don't use I don't use their website to sell. Where did you use to create a website? Shopify. Yeah. So um, like my um, view on this is like it's it looks it's pretty simple, right? And a lot of you have iPhones and stuff, and I think that if you would put in effort, you could create a video like that, right? Am I too yeah. far? Yeah. Oh yeah, you said you could do it like twice, even better, right? Uh, <laughs> and that's where kind of the potential comes because if if you can just do like find your product and do whatever you want. I actually met a guy in Sweden selling the exact same thing and he had 10 times the revenue a month on this kind of same same kind of thing. And it's not too hard. It's just like <coughs> kind of do it and try. And if you find, if you're lucky, push harder kind of. And it's yeah. not going to be perfect every month, but I mean, it's a really good side thing you can try doing. Um, yeah. You can have a 
Uh, yeah, 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 that's definitely true. And you have more to add on this? What? More to add on this? No. Um, so I think we're going to, we are going to do some group discussions now. And uh, we're giving you a, like a example or like a questionnaire. Uh, first of all, you're going to discuss how will consumer behavior change in the future? Have you seen any like platforms that you think people are going to use go into more? Um, is going to be advertising TikTok? Or what, what do you guys think? Second, what are ways that you would perhaps sell this like purse we're talking about? Um, create a, creating a brand or do you like, yeah, come up with creative ideas and maybe tell us how you would sell it. And we'll give you like if you four here discuss, and then you four in the back discuss, and then we give you two minutes, and then someone could just tell us what the group had to say. Sounds good. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> and when they say something, repeat it in case it yeah yeah I'll yeah. do it. So it's just only for that product. Like one 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 All right. All right, we start in the front. Sell me this purse. How would you do it? Uh, I said that I was going to uh, use Shopify to make a website. And I, already have a, I have an editing software on my computer, so I was thinking I could make an ad about the purse, maybe give it to my girlfriend, she'll walk around with it, put some cash in there, make an ad, and stock up. Smart. That's how we thought. Yeah. yeah. Good. Where would you put the video? Oh, will, will you share it on your on your account? I'll probably make an account. Like I'll make my own account on this purse. Yeah. Like make my own little website. So the, it'll be like the website's name as the account. Yeah. And then just 
advertising. Yeah, smart. Yes. I think she had a good answer. Yeah. Oh, kind of going towards him, but like if I have like a like a social media account, like whether it's like Twitter, Facebook. Instagram, Pinterest, I will let it travel organically first by mm -hmm. posting it myself. And then if I see that I'm getting good revenue off of it and people are actually clicking it or clicking it, then I'll put more eggs into that basket and do some ad testing, like A to B testing and start promoting ads on like different websites that will help boost the, um, those sales if you know where I want to put them. And then um, also maybe like you said, influencer marketing, so the content influencers nice, that very good. promote these products so they can promote it as well. Yeah. Mm. Very good. Throw it back to someone else. <laughs> okay. So it's a big shocker, but I don't own it first. Um, so I defer to the ladies on this one. And what they said is that purses are something that they like to buy in person for. Um, and you see them at big department stores. Like the one that I thought of was Nordstrom, but she also thought of uh, Primark. And you can take it whatever you want, and there's probably going to be a section of purses there. Um, and it's one of those things that, like, um, it's not the only thing you're going into there to buy. Uh, so it's it would be like a complimentary item to whatever you're going into there to buy. We compared it to jeans because it's one of those things that they uh, believe that it's something that you want to try on and kind of get a feel for a physical touch before you come into buying it. Um, so with that. I know that a lot of department stores like Nordstrom, they sell products online, but the main place you get them is in person. So you can list it online, but the biggest like, place you get sales is in person. And uh, yeah. 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 When it comes to the these simple product, it's it's hard to sell the product. I mean, when if we is gonna be fear. If I will try this product, I will sell it on with the emotions, you know, the emotion. Uh, yeah, but it, even though it sells better uh, physically present, it's definitely you have a chance to sell it online. Yeah. And then the question is that how could you kind of sell it? Um, yeah, I, I'll go off that. Maybe I would, um, what I would do on it, I would put a, a private label on it and call this the, not Gucci, but I would call it, uh, I would create my own kind of brand and try to brand it and say why this brand and why this like this kind of yeah. create something that's like special like special about this yeah and then i would put the price five times above everything else yeah and to kind of create a hype or something and um, you see what i'm saying like it's yeah. it's still possible and um uh, and then i would of course push it through like TikTok. i would send it to five uh, influencers and then they would get it for free like for me it doesn't cost a lot just to send it for free and if they post it, that's uh, worth a lot of like money because a lot of people watch it, watching yeah. the, the TikTok videos now. Yeah, you know what, would what you I thought of? Yeah. yeah. Uh, not selling it to women, but selling it to bikers, bicycles, cyclists. <laughs> yeah. Right? But not maybe that color, maybe a blue one. Yeah, let's and recolor it. You put your money or your little things on it, and you, you all cyclists have pockets in the back of their shirts, yeah. or they have saddlebags. You can mm -hmm. carry, you know, money or whatever, driver's license. Yeah. yeah. So identify your audience. So yeah. it's very important. I don't, mm. I don't know if it would sell, but that's kind of what I thought. Maybe this, is, this is where Meta comes into the One picture. this big would have been better. Mm. But you know, maybe like th this size. Yeah. Right? It would fit nice in your bicycle sh shirt or yeah. your bicycle saddlebag. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> hmm. Like How did you guys get into this? So, uh, like I said, I, w <laughs> I was fed up of like thinking of money all the time. I, w I just, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't do stuff I wanted to do. So I wanted, I wanted. Hey, why did you choose just like this kind of? There are many ways to earn money. Yeah, I tried lots of yeah, ways to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So it's I found, found this. Right? Yeah. Very cool. yeah. yeah. How did you find your business? Like, why did you choose to do? Yeah, yeah, I, I could definitely. Um, and the first one uh, I did when I was 18 was like selling e-scooters online. Uh, that was not drop shipping, but we bought a lot of things and then we did private label on it, made sure we had a really good product so people would feel safe. And then we got a lot of product reviews and hyped the product up and then we sold it. Um, 
more expensive than the others, but better quality. And then, um, so I worked with e-commerce before, and uh, got back to US, and then now I found this this uh, ice path. Maybe we can take a look at it. I don't know. Yeah. So ice path is like a trend. You could even see it on Google Trends. Like a lot of athletes do it. They want it after training sessions. Uh, today, all of the top athletes in the world, like even basketball, football, soccer, everyone wants needs an ice bath. And then we sell the the feeling of the ice bath. Like uh, you know, athletes like you feel hyped. Some are scared, which also makes them more kind of all right. You remember it still. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, so I found it up with two other friends as well. And um, we started selling it in Sweden. And um, we created four different versions of it. I'll show you down here. Yes, we had a cheap one, like a very cheap one that's um, uh, yeah, above $150. So everyone could have it at in home. And then we did uh, more expensive ones for like gyms and uh, um like facilities kind of or people that are just like heavily into this because a lot of people are you actually don't you don't some no, maybe I'm some not. people don't believe it but there's a lot of people that are in this and there are three really really big companies in the us doing the same thing so i just took kind of yeah i realized like it's working in the us it's going to come to sweden let's take market share in sweden and then i i branded it i have some friends that are professional athletes and uh gave it to them kind of and then suddenly you have a run. And then you just go. Sorry. Yeah. I, I would have to guess that the, the mini recovery is probably your best seller. Uh, yeah, it is. It is. But uh, the other ones are selling good and uh, they work to sell like to bigger companies, facilities. And if you sell to one happy customer there, they can even, because some gym chains have need like 15. So you can sell more. Close. Yes, so that's my kind of uh, right now. Uh, I still run it from here and I have people delivering in Sweden and uh, like recording videos and stuff. And um, So that's my next move to find a product that I can establish, like that I can buy home to my inventory mm -hmm. and send it out to the customers. So it won't take like three weeks from China, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So you're looking for something that you're a little bit more passionate about rather than uh, eyelash uh, protector. Yeah, right? Me? Yeah. It's to say that again. So you're you're looking for a product that you're a little bit more passionate about. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is like your product. Like you already have inventory. Yeah. And then when someone purchases it, you send it out. Yeah. Okay. So you're just doing like the dropshipping. Yeah. Someone asks for it, it starts getting packaged. Yeah. So it's yeah sends it direct from the supplier to the customer. And uh, something else you wanted to? No, no. I think we had some good uh, answers. You, you guys have any questions? You have a, you have a question. I was going to ask you, like, do you think you're gonna like create a team to try to uh, like expand your business? Or do you want to join? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was gonna say that. So if you are interested to start up a business, this is a like this is cheapest business you can, like to start up, drop shipping. Uh, just contact me, follow me on Instagram and DM me, and I'll help you, guys. Uh, because it it is valuable. Uh, yeah, my email is there as well. Like if you need. To. Shouldn't we have a class in this? Yeah, yeah like right. 16 week like class. How to build a website? Well, you start, come up with a product, create a website. Yeah. Like, uh, I think if we would have 16 people just going all in, like it would probably someone okay, would well, sell a lot. And then we would share the revenue all together. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if one comes up with a very, very successful idea, then we share it together. Oh, yeah. One, one more thing. Uh, we were talking about this uh, product. Uh, we were sitting with two uh, of our girlfriends, friends, friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and they was talking about this infrared mask thing, like they've seen everywhere on TikTok. Have you seen it on TikTok? Have you seen this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it looks good. Yeah. And that is a thing that I think and you think also is going to expand yeah, sooner. Yeah, definitely. Or like, yeah. Uh, so 
So just, yeah. yeah, let's do a business case. Case have everyone create a store, uh, market this, and then. <laughs> yeah. Should we show? And then drop out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Should we like show how to? Not express us up. No. 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 Yeah, I can imagine other schools are doing stuff like this. Oh, yeah, they, are. they probably are. Yeah. But you don't need money to do this. No. Yeah, I, I had no money. That <laughs> was, that was my problem. No, but like, this is it. Yeah. Okay. Unless you're in a store inventory. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you're gonna stack inventory, yeah. it's harder to do. Yeah, it is. But if you can get something up running in 16 weeks, I would think. Yeah. If you get a product, if you got it, yeah, if you find a first week be very intense coming up with the product first two weeks. Develop the product, create a logo, create a website, somebody do the social. Yeah. 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 Ye
Brincadeira, era a minha idade. <risos> I'll show you if you DM me. Ah. Uh, so uh, the last video, the last ending clip, the ending clip yeah, that's from AliExpress. Okay. So you pay for it? Huh? You pay for it, or do you just grab it? I paid for it. Okay. I contact them. And uh, like these hair clips, I I I asked my friends to just like uh, make videos when they try it on. And this I made like six thousand dollars from. This was my niche store, Lady Emporium. I just, I uh, was trying like um, female products only. Yeah, that's my old band. So, yeah. Yeah, what did you learn? Everything. really cool. Yeah. Key takeaways. Yeah. yeah. And we can do it. We should be doing it. Yeah. Here. Like before I started, I was thinking if they can do it, I can do it. Like it's mm. just you just have to put your mind mind into it. Mm -hmm. Start doing it. Don't like I'll, this is hard or this is fake or you know. No, exactly. Well, all startups are like that, but if you don't have an investment... Sometimes you have to put your own money to see if you can make it look good. So I, okay, I personally invested, I put down $200, $200 to, to start this. Anybody can do that. Yeah, for the ads. Yeah. And I will... It's I, not like you're starting, you, you need to store funds. No, to exactly. Or, you know where Sissy is across the street, right? Yeah. Uh, before that, uh, right after COVID, a restaurant opened. It was a Venezuelan lady. Mm. Food was really good. Capital to open a restaurant, right? You have to have enough operating expense for a certain amount of time. And word of mouth doesn't sell a restaurant. You have to advertise. You have to do promotions. You have to bring customers in. Then. Once you get a, a critical mass, people start coming in. She did not have that expertise. Sadly, she only lasted about three months. But it was a great three months for me. It was like, it was like I was in Caracas again, enjoying uh, the food was phenomenal. And I could see it slowly and slow down, and I couldn't help her because she didn't have that wherewithal. When they opened Sissies, mm. those ladies know how to run a restaurant. And it's taken off like crazy. Yeah. One of the things I told Professor Hawkinson was how do you take a concept like Sissy's Baby in a capstone class? How do you franchise it? How do you take it national? Yeah. It would be a very cool project, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, just come up with a game plan for how would how would you all right, you're five of you are on a team. Yeah. Your job is to take this, you know, come up with a plan to take this Sissy's concept national. What do you do? Have at it. But this is even cool. You learn a lot about business. You learn a lot about social media. Yeah. This is the future, I think. Um, it is, yes, and it isn't. And we don't know how it's going to morph. Will people just be creating little businesses or will. You didn't put any stores on Amazon, right? For any of this stuff. You used to drop. Yeah. Drop ship from China mm. takes 10 days to. Three weeks to get. Mm -hmm. Does anybody ever complain that takes yeah. <laughs> Many people. <laughs> and then what? You just get, copy and paste the same email. I apologize. Yeah, email. then I have an automatic chatbot installed into my websites. And that's free. And that's free. Oh, we had to do We had every class that does this. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. Mm. Problem is, you need a professor of record, but the professor's probably not going to teach it. Let you guys teach it. They can teach it. I'll do it. The special. Uh, you get credit for. Credit? I want salary. Credit. <laughs> Yeah. So just reach out to me or Juan if you need help with this. And who's the sport management major? Anybody? Me. They always run that stupid event in April. They spent an entire semester trying to run an event. Um, you know, last year they, they, they had the sport drinks and they were playing uh, cornhole and all that yes. stuff. And the, it, was, it was like completely lame. The most fun you could have at a lame event. Uh, lame event. Mm. What if you were selling North Park stuff or hats or something? Whatever. I don't yeah. care. This is amazing. We, we should have you present to the. I don't know how this video is going to come out, but. but yeah. If it comes out, I think uh, I'll send it to the dean. And we need a class like this. We make it fun. We a lot more fun. <laughs> we actually get to interact and actually do things. We actually, actually do something and learn about business at yeah. the same time. Yeah. Exactly. Chance to make money. And then yeah. you get a chance yeah. to make money. Yeah. Can't put any discussion posts in that. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I mean, it's, you know, those assignments are good. You're learning stuff. You're expanding your brain, but this is really doing something. So I'll be there with them to provide loss. Right. Mm. Sponsor. Maybe the freshman class. Maybe the senior 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 Yeah. <laughs>